Although Europe is rich in natural beauty, we must acknowledge that it is the cities that keep us returning to the continent. These European metropolises, all of which have populations of 100,000 or more, offer enough culture, food, architecture, cobblestone streets and mountain views to fill an itinerary multiple times. They may even tempt you to consider relocating across the Atlantic permanently. From Prague to Paris, here are 10 most beautiful cities in Europe. The Czech capital consistently ranked as one of the best cities in the world. Prague is full of remarkable architecture, hilltop views and delightful marketplaces. Prague is recognized for its rich architecture and museums, as well as its diversified nightlife and extensive shopping opportunities. It's also known for its substantial food and inexpensive beer, as well as its well-kept UNESCO World Heritage City Center. Prague is a three-dimensional architectural textbook. It's a site unlike any other in the world, with Romanesque chapels and cellars, Gothic cathedrals, Baroque palaces and gardens, worldly art nouveau buildings and distinctive cubist architecture. You don't need to be a person who has a knack for aesthetics to enjoy the diversity of the city's architecture. Few cities can boast of a river as beautiful as the Vltava. Over 30 bridges and footbridges span Prague's waters, which gently lap the margins of 10 islands and see dozens of steamers, rowboats and pedal boats pass through each day. It's the heart of the city and the medieval Charles Bridge with its Baroque statues completes the picture. And just as Charles Bridge is inextricably tied to the view of Prague's castle, the profile of the railway bridge is inextricably linked to the vista of Visegrad. Because of the city's gorgeous architecture and public art, creative types have been flocking to Porto in recent years. The city boasts one of the world's most famous port wine cellars, hundreds of ancient cathedrals and world heritage monuments are among the top things to do in Porto. The city's architecture is a blend of Gothic, Baroque and Modernist styles and the city's winding cobblestone streets give it a distinct appeal. Porto is quickly becoming one of Western Europe's most popular tourist destinations with such a broad choice of sights to see and things to do. Porto is a colorful UNESCO-listed city that offers a true piece of Portuguese life, but is all too often eclipsed by the popular metropolis of Lisbon. The pace is significantly slower than in tourist-heavy Lisbon, but to its advantage, Porto has a more European feel to it. You may have an espresso on the river front or stroll leisurely through the charming streets, admiring the shop's windows. The River Douro or a River of Gold divides it, adding to the tranquility. Additionally, the city of Porto is also quite easy to navigate. The city is made up of narrow cobblestone streets that are situated on tight, challenging hill slopes. The Clarigos Tower observation deck, which is accessed through a steep spiral staircase inside the skyscraper, is the best place to see the city in its entirety. Despite its reputation for producing cutting-edge restaurants and hotels, Copenhagen executes a timeless charm that makes you want to plan your next trip before your current one ends. The fanciful Tivoli Gardens, built in the 1800s, put all of the amusement parks to shame, while Christiania, a bohemian commune, is a misty, verdant dreamland. And, in case you were wondering, the Nighthaven seaside houses are indeed that lovely. With its rickety historic center, maze of cobblestone streets, including Europe's longest pedestrianized shopping center and ancient churches, palaces and government buildings, it's a gloriously attractive city, with brave and striking modern interjections like the ferociously angled extension to the Royal Library, nicknamed the Black Diamond, and Henning Larsen's Royal Opera House. Then there's the stunning design that pervades almost every aspect of Danish life. There are utilitarian and lovely objects everywhere. 
from metro stations to the schools, friends' homes, and even hairdressers. Visiting the world-famous ruins in Athens is like stepping back in time to ancient Greece. Where stonework dates back to 400 BC, temples are supported by centuries-old columns with Greek gods sculptures abound. The Acropolis, which offers both close-up views of the Parthenon and panoramic views of the city from its mountaintop, is a must-see for history buffs. Lake Avitos Hill, accessible by cable car, offers similar sweeping vistas. A 3-kilometer-long archaeological mile has been built around the historic city center surrounding the Acropolis. It leads to the most significant historical places. A stroll around the historic market square, the Agora, with the Tower of the Winds, is just as important as a visit to the historical neighborhood of Plaka. When it comes to museums, Athens is anything but sleepy. Summertime is spent on the southern beaches of the Attic Riviera, which features sports facilities, shopping malls and nightclubs. The younger generation spends the entire year partying in the nightlife zones. People eat and socialize in newly opened bars such as those in the Gas District or Psiri a former industrial district that became a trendy hotspot during the 2008 financial crisis. People come from all over the world to enjoy the nightlife in the decaying buildings with their graffiti beauty. There are many lovely cities in Italy, but Florence stands out for its history, art and architecture. The magnificent Santa Maria del Fiore and the Basilica of Santa Maria Novella are examples of Renaissance aesthetics seen throughout town. Meanwhile, the Ponte Vecchio and the Uffizi are still must-see locations. Florence, more than any other Italian city, is connected with the Renaissance's creative spirits. Dante Alighieri, the most important poet of the late Middle Ages, was a Florentine. Even Dan Brown's famous book, Inferno, is based in Florence. The typical Renaissance figures, Leonardo da Vinci, the architect Filippo Brunelleschi and the sculptor and painter Michelangelo, rose to be the most significant artists of their period in the 14th century, thanks to the reigning Medici family. They established Florence as the cradle of the Renaissance and as a result a cultural center in Europe to this day. The Uffizi Gallery, one of the world's most important museums, is one of the city's must-see attractions. The sheer number of works by Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael and Botticelli still inspires Ave and respect. The Galleria dell'Accademia is a must-see for many tourists. This is where the 5 meter tall original statue of David, the legendary hero who slew Goliath, stands. It was craved out of a single piece of marble by Michelangelo. That was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you did, show us some support by clicking a like and subscribe button and also do not forget to ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos.